I'm Super Tess, and I'm so excited that you're here with us today. All month long, we're learning about how God loves me, and you, and your whole family, and all your friends, and your neighbors, and everyone. He loves everyone. Now, we're going to be doing so many fun things today, so let's check out our list. First, we're going to do our bottom line, and then we're going to play a super fun game. After that, we're going to do our memory verse, and maybe we'll do some motions with it too. Then we're going to sing and dance and worship God, and then we're going to learn our Bible lesson. Let's get started right now. Hey, TC Kids, I want to teach you the bottom line. And when you hear this, you're going to be like, wow, that was so fun. You're going to remember it for the rest of your life. Here we go. God has a plan for me. Isn't that cool? Isn't that awesome? Now I want you to say it with me. And we're going to do it on the count of three. And I want you to say it really, really loud. Here we go. One, two, three. God has a plan for for me. He really does. Great job, TC Kids. TC Kids, it's time for our memory verse. And this month's memory verse comes out of Jeremiah 29, 11. It says, for I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. Can you say that with me in a small, quiet, mousy voice? Jeremiah 29, 11. For I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. Great job, TC Kids! I'm gonna go where you leave me I just wanna follow you, God I don't wanna miss the amazing things you have planned Even when it's hard to see you 
Do you guys know what time it is? You're right, it is time for the Bible lesson. So let's all sit back, relax, and I think my friend Ollie's gonna teach it today. So Ollie, take it away. Just follow me through. Follow me through. That's it. <laughs> oh, hola, friends. I'm Luis the Handyman. Good to see you. Look at this cool toaster. It took lots of work and lots of pieces had to come together, but ta-da! <laughs> Don't you just love it when a plan comes together? Now, we've been talking about God's plans, and I want to tell you one more really big, really important thing. You want to help me build it? <laughs> Great. Hammers up, little builders. Ready? Uno, dos, tres, hammer. Great job, little helpers. You can put your hammers down. Now we just need our story tools. Yep, we have everything we need. We learned about... Two people named Noah and Joseph. God had plans for both of them. God planned for Noah to build a really big boat to save his family and the animals. And God put a rainbow in the sky to remember that God always keeps his promises. Noah trusted God's plans. Way to go, Noah! <laughs> and God had plans for Joseph too. Joseph had to do many hard things. God used Joseph to save a lot of people, even Joseph's own family. <laughs> Joseph trusted God's plans. Way to go, Joseph! <laughs> okay, so now I have a really big really important thing to tell you about God's plans. God knows the plans he has for you. That's right. God has plans for you. God loves you and has amazing, incredible, wonderful plans for you. That is so exciting. Everyone, yell out loud, God has plans for me. Ready? One. Two, three, God has plans for me. Now, look at your neighbor and say, God has plans for you. Ready? One, two, three, God has plans for you. <laughs> yes, he does. Now let's cheer for God because God has plans for us. Yay, God. <laughs> so, how do we know God's plans? Hmm. We can talk to God and ask him. We can read the Bible and keep learning about God. <laughs> I am so excited because God has plans for me and God has plans for you. Hey there, Ollie. Tell me, who has plans for you? God has plans for you. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who has plans for you? God has plans for me. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. See you next time. Adios. Ollie, that was an amazing Bible lesson. I learned that God has plans for me and for you and for everyone. Well, how amazing is that? Okay, friends, now that the experience is almost over, let's make sure we did everything. So help me remember, we did our bottom line. Yes, that was first. That is a check mark. Woohoo! After that, we played a super fun game. Check. And then we did our memory verse. Wasn't that an amazing memory verse? 
check, and then we gotta sing and dance. I hope everyone was able to sing and dance and worship God. Check, and then we just learned our Bible lesson with Ollie. Check! We did everything. Now, TC Kids, before we go, I want to pray with you. So let's fold our hands and bow our heads and repeat after me. Dear Jesus, thank you for having a plan for me. Amen. TC Kids, we have had so much fun with you this month, and we can't wait to see you next month. It's going to have a brand new bottom line and memory verse and even brand new Bible lessons. Oh, I'm so excited. TC Kids, I'll see you next week. Bye. Bye.